What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out a new feature contained inside of the SketchUp extension Sketch Plus for quickly creating roofs in SketchUp. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. So we've talked about Sketch Plus on the channel before. It's basically a tool set for SketchUp that contains over 30 additional tools um, for the program. So Sketch Plus has a ton of different tools built in that do everything from allowing you to create different arrays, copy things along paths. It's got a material tool set that allow you to do um, some really interesting things with materials inside of SketchUp. There's just a ton of tools built into Sketch Plus. Um, you can check it out at the SketchUp essentials.com slash sketch plus note that that is my affiliate link meaning i do receive a commission if you do purchase through that link big thanks to sketch plus for providing me an updated license for this tool so that i can try this new feature out but let's go ahead and jump over into sketchup and take a look at the way that this works um, so basically the way this works is this is a tool um, that shows up inside of the building section of sketch plus so if you right click right there's a number of different toolbars in here for different things we specifically want the buildings and so where you can find this is you can look in the buildings right in the middle right here. There's an option for create hipped roof. And the cool thing about this is it's very simple, right? You just mouse over a surface, you single click, and then you move your mouse up or down in order to create the roof. And notice how when you do this, you can set the number of degrees that this roof slopes, right? So if I click on this house right here, notice how I can set the roof slope. So I can type in like, if I want it to be 35 degrees, I could type in 35. I can type in 25, I can type in 10, whatever I want the slope to do, it's gonna come in here and it's gonna create a hipped roof to that slope. And then when you're done, if you wanna create another roof, you can just double click in order to set that roof to this other slope right here. Um, I don't think enough people do multiple roofs at once that that's gonna be a big game changer one way or the other, but it is a pretty cool function. And notice what this does is this comes in here and it just really quickly generates that hipped roof right here. And notice how if you've got pieces that kinda of like pop out from your building over here, those are going to nicely align with these surfaces. And so this is gonna work on more complex surfaces too, like this one, right? So say you have a building with like different wings. Notice how that's gonna come in here and that's going to generate that roof using all of those different wings in here, just like this. So it does a really good job of creating that hipped roof. Now, one thing that you might notice with this though, is right now it's not creating the fascia and there's no overhang. And so if you wanna create fascia and overhang, it's actually pretty easy to do. All you need to do is just offset the face out by the width of whatever your overhang is, right? So say you want a 12 inch overhang, you can just offset this out 12 inches, and then you would just push pull this up the thickness of whatever your fascia is going to be, right? So you can just push pull this up and say your fascia is going to be like eight inches. You can just type in a value of eight inches right here. Then all you need to do is just erase one of these top edges in here and notice how this is going to fill that roof in here for you. Now you can come in here and you can erase out the extra edges if you want to. You don't really need them for anything. Um, so generally I recommend cleaning up your geometry when you do something like this. Um, it's usually just a good practice. So we're gonna get rid of this extra geometry and then we can come in here, we can create this hip roof right here. Notice how that hip roof is coming from the um, overhang width rather than the roof width itself. So you can use this in order to really quickly create this fairly complex roof where previously you would have had to come in here and kind of like try to use the follow me tool or something to kind of extrude something around the outside, um, which is definitely going to be a lot more work. Um, I'm just gonna type in a value of 25 right here and we're good to go. Now you can also use this to create other kinds of roofs. You just need to do some like geometry editing a little bit. So for example, say I wanted to create a roof right here and say I didn't necessarily want this to be um, the hipped roof that moves in like this. Say that I wanted to create like a gable roof instead. What I could do is I could just take this, right? And you can just use the move tool. So tap the M key, mouse over this point, and then you could just move this in a direction until it aligns with the surface right here. And so probably this would be a little bit more useful in situations like this one right here. But again, you could use that move tool. You could move this out like this in order to align it to the end right here. And so in order to fully 
get this to work, you would probably have to explode this. So you can right click and explode it. Notice how now that geometry is going to, um, no notice how now that geometry, you're gonna be able to come in here and actually like offset that. Or in this case, we'd probably take these gables, move them down, or we take these edges and we'd use the move tool in copy mode. So M, then tap control, and then move this down like this. And then probably just draw some edges up and then we could push pull this surface back right here in order to have this nice gable roof right here. All right, so I'll link to a video on this page talking about more of the tools inside of Sketch Plus as well as linking to the extension itself. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.